Hey guys, it's Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruits, and here are my cleft grafts of multiple varieties. If you guys remember from my past video, T was the one that sent me all these scions to graft with, and I didn't have much to work with, but still was able to make it work with what I had. So here's a quick update on what's been going on with these. So it's been 17 days since I've grafted this. I took the bag off at day five, and day 15 was when I removed the tapes. So here are three Edgar Valdivia seedlings. And I'm going to show you guys that the connection has healed very well. It's wedged in there. It's looking very good. It's starting to swell up a touch. So that's another good sign that it's getting life and energy is pumping in. This is another Edgar Valdivia seedling. And this one is also feeling very plump. And this one was on the verge of dying when I first had it, but still it's regaining life. And over here are the Peruvian yellows and they were very flaccid when I first had them but here are the connections so these ones are also looking like they are taking they are day 17 now I grafted all of these on August 27th so now they are in full Sun I've taken them out on day 15 to let them try to regain more energy so this way they can push more of that water into the scions and hopefully we have a shoot pop out very soon so I'm very excited about these and shows you guys that cleft graph um, works very well I've been getting almost 98% success rate um, I haven't had one fail yet, but I do have complications, so that's why it's 98%, but I always figure out how to save it. And, you know, that bag that I always put over it sometimes, when I see that it's dying, I just put the bag back on, and they just start to grow really healthy again. I think um, if you just keep humidity on them when they are dried out, it can help them continue to heal and then regain life back. So you guys, just quick updates on these cleft grafts and multiple varieties. So those Edgar Valdivia seedlings, they have potential to be uh, the Asunta 6 if they are worthy and taste good. And these Peruvian yellows are kind of like the Ecuador Pelora. They're just as big. They're just oblong and not as round. So there you guys go. And I also grow Vietnamese mint leaves. <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys enjoy watching this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys have any questions of these graphs, go ahead and leave in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And if you guys want to see more grafting and dragon fruit videos of mine, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. Have a wonderful day now. Bye guys.